hey guys welcome back to my channel it's so beautiful to have you guys it's so beautiful to have you guys thank you thank you so much for always you know clicking to this channel thank you so much for the likes thank you for liking my previous video thank you for subscribing to this channel even though we just started up we've had we've had some numerous people subscribe thank you so much guys i really appreciate thank you for liking this girl <laughs> thank you for coming to listen to this girl i really appreciate guys all right so today i'm going to be talking about something very important very very important because a lot of people have been sending me message princess what kind of agri business should i start princess i'm in social country what does it take to start a, a fish farm business princess i'm this i'm that but some people even say they want to go into storage business why some persons told me that they have investors that want to invest in their business and they are just starting so i decided to do this video for you because i had to you know i, I had one-on-one -on -one conversation with a few of them and i found out that some of them are going into agriculture for the wrong reasons and this is why i am doing this video so guys please do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already please do not forget to subscribe and please click on the like button okay please 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 and do not also forget to click on the bell icon to be the first to know when i post any video guys thank you so much so let's go right into the video So going into agriculture guys, you need to first of all, learn the roots. Don't go into agriculture for the wrong reasons. A lot of persons have made mistakes because of the, the reasons why they went into this agricultural thing. Because they have learned that this is how it's done. It's not just hard, it's for you to go to buy seeds and start planting. If you don't know how seeds are being planted and how they uh, grow out and processes of putting fertilizers and all of it everything that it takes for a particular thing to jam it i heard a story of a young guy just a few days ago uh, he he shared his story how he got an investor that wanted to invest in pig farm so because he has pitched his business to this investor telling the investor that it only takes this amount of money for him to rear this amount of pig and pigs eat anything according to him so the investor said okay since you have pitched i trust you so take this money this is exact money you asked for so take this money and invest in your pig farm at the end of the day you give me my return on investment few weeks later when he, when he bought the feed uh, the pigs he discovered that this special of pig do not just eat anything and he couldn't go back to this investor to tell the investor this is what is happening i think we need money to invest in buying pig feeds and all of it now a few weeks later the pigs died he lost the money everything just went down okay now this is because he did not acquire the right knowledge that he needed to go into pig farming this guy has lost money he has locked the pigs and he has lost trust and integrity and i'm very sure he has also lost this investor so it's very important as a beginner that you get the knowledge that you need before you go into any form of agribusiness. Don't just rush into agriculture. Don't just rush into any agribusiness until you acquire the right knowledge, guys. You need it. The money is there for you to make, but it's also, also require you, you know, having the right knowledge before the money can be made, guys. Don't just rush into it. Don't just rush into it. I know that you've heard agriculture is this, agriculture is the new money-making machine, agriculture is good, agriculture makes money fast, it's the fast way, fastest way to make money, agriculture this, agriculture that. Guys, even though that might be true in some way, but it's very important that knowledge is first acquired. Acquire the knowledge first, guys. Don't just rush into agriculture. And this is what I've come here to say. I've come here to save my mind. Because a lot of you keep sending messages like, I, and I'm like, what is the reason? There's no reason. Some of you are just going to this business because you feel that your neighbor is making it. Guys, do not go into any business because you feel your neighbor is making it. There is a process to it. There is a process to every form of business. There is a process to it. There is a process to buying and selling. Now, there is a woman in my street that, she sells food stuff and all of a sudden i discovered that this woman business was falling you know and 
One day I had to ask her a question, Madam, what's happening? And she said uh, that this, that, that. I said, and I said, please, can I see your account book? And I discovered that she has not been keeping records. She does not have where she writes, she puts in details of how much she has still, uh, how much sales she makes in a day. There's no details. There's no place. So if she sees Zobo Pass, she will buy Zobo. She sees Minara, she will buy Chingom, Suya, everything she buy from that business. And she does not understand the fact that businesses do eat. It is the money that you make from this business that you use to feed the business. So at the end of the day, now as I'm talking to you, the business has packed up. There's no more business, like no more business. The business has packed up. And this is because she did not learn the ropes guys she did not learn it she just saw that everybody's doing food stuff business so there's money made in selling food items so she, she decided to go buy to start a, up a, a food item shops and before you know it business has gone so you don't use the same money that you use investing your business and also eat from it you know it is the money that you make from this business that you invest in it until you start making profit you don't make profit the same year. In fact, there's a company I heard that it took them like over 10 or 15 years for them to start making profit. So this is, this is, you know, the company putting structure in place. They have found out that there's no, there's no profit coming in. Everything that is coming in, we have to also invest it in this business until we have made social amount of money. We cannot say, okay, we have made profit and we cannot say, okay, let's share profit and all of it. Very important that you put structure. When you want to start up any agri business, structure is very important. When you want to start up any business at all, really, if you don't put structure in place, you will end up losing out. Okay? So do not go into any agri business until you are, you are sure that you have put the right structures in place, guys. So I've said the number one thing that is very important that you learn the ropes. Now I'm saying put structure in place. Don't go into agribusiness until you have put the right structures in place, guys. Don't. Structure is very important. It's very, very important. Any business without a structure is a dead on arrival business, really. It's very dead on arrival. So put structures in place. So the third thing is collaboration. If you're not ready to collaborate in agribusiness, please don't even bother going into it. <laughs> collaboration is key. It's key. So let me share a story about me. Now, I, 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 that's, I help people to store food products, okay? So what I do is that we, we buy during harvest season and we sell during scarcity. So now, I do not have a big facility to store this food product. What do I do? I, I, I partner with somebody who has the market and also have the, a big facility, you know, to a big facility where he also stores the product. He has the market and he has the facility. So we partner and we share the profit. So at the end of the day, my customers take a particular percentage. People that invested with me, which are my partners, they take a particular percentage. And the remaining percentage, I share it with this other guy. Okay, so it is very important that you collaborate. Now, it doesn't matter. I used to tell people that even if you earn 5%, from a business you have tried it is a good it is a good profit so by the time you gather five percent five percent five percent here you have made a huge amount of money don't just think that you have to be mr know it or mr everything like everything has to come back to you you need to eat the whole hundred percent if you don't take all the hundred share, percent shares you have not made any money it is very very wrong as a business person make sure that you have you know, you have the mind to collaborate with people. Collaboration is the new, what's that again? Collaboration is, is the new you know, money. Collaboration is the new money. Okay. Nothing wrong in collaborating with somebody who does fish farming. And you tell the person, okay, I can collaborate with you. I roast the fish while uh, we look for, for the market to sell them. It's not a huge deal when you collaborate with someone that maybe sells cow or sells goat or sells any form of food product and you tell the person, okay, I want to partner with you, I want to drop ship your business, okay? So you tell the person, I'll get the customer. Each time I make sales, I take my percentage. It's, it's not bad, guys. It's not bad. So don't think until you start your own firm. You start your own business and he, he, uh, and he says uh, A and B company, A and B and Sons. 
A, B, and Sons company, you know, until then you have not started a business. It's lying now. <laughs> so it's very important that you learn to collaborate. Collaboration is key in every business. Collaboration is key. People that are making it in agriculture, people that have the mind to collaborate with other agri -preneurs. So please do not go into agriculture for the wrong reasons. Do not go into agriculture because you feel that your neighbor has the money, your neighbor is making it. Your neighbor have not told you the story behind their success. There is always a story behind every successful man. So do not go into agriculture for the wrong reason. And I've told you that before you go into agriculture, learn the ropes, guys. Learn the ropes is very important. Learn the ropes is very very knowledge is key knowledge is key knowledge is key i've talked about collaboration i've talked about in fact i've said so many things today so it's very important that you learn the rules learn everything that you need to learn before you venture into any form of agri business okay guys all right so let me end this video i didn't want to talk long i just wanted to pass the message across and tell you that agriculture is actually meant for everybody Farming is not for everybody. Agro processing is not for everybody. In fact, it is very important that you find your unique self. Find area where you function better and make sure you go into that area. Even though I am a very a great evangelist of people going into agriculture, but it's always very important that you go into agriculture for the right reason. So thank you for watching my video and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, a thumbs up, eh, eh, eh. Guys, do not forget to give me a thumbs up and do not forget also to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel and of course, click the bell icon to be the first to get notification from more, okay? Thank you so much guys and God bless.